When you look up at the night sky, you might think of it as empty, a vast black canvas sprinkled with stars. But the deeper we look, the stranger it becomes. Space is not a smooth nothingness. It has texture, structure, and in some ways, even boundaries. And recently, scientists uncovered something so massive, so mind-bending, that they call it a wall at the edge of space. Now, to be clear, this is not a wall in the sense of bricks or stone. It's not a barrier you could reach out and touch. Instead, it's something far stranger, a vast cosmic structure stretching billions of light years across, shaping the very flow of galaxies and dark matter. So what is this wall? How could it exist in a universe that's supposed to be expanding everywhere without edges? And what does it mean for our understanding of reality itself? Let's dive deep into this cosmic mystery. The cosmic web our universe isn't just stars floating randomly in space. When astronomers map the positions of galaxies, a pattern emerges, an enormous cosmic web. Imagine a spider's web, but stretched across the universe, with galaxies clumped together in bright threads and nodes, and huge empty regions, called voids, in between. These filaments of galaxies are connected by invisible scaffolding made of dark matter, and the spaces between them are vast. But even within this web, there are surprises. Every now and then, scientists discover structures so large, they seem to break the rules of cosmology itself. The Great Wall, discovered in the 1980s, was one of the first of these, a sheet of galaxies 500 million light-years long. Then came the Sloan Great Wall, nearly 1.4 billion light-years wide. And later, the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, a staggering 10 billion light-years across, so huge it shouldn't even exist under our current models of the universe. But now, scientists have found something different, what they call a wall at the edge of space, the South Pole Wall. In 2020, astronomers revealed the discovery of what they call the South Pole Wall, a vast cosmic structure stretching 1.4 billion light years across, hiding in a part of the sky that had been difficult to map because of the Milky Way's dust and stars. It's called a wall because it's a dense, connected sheet of galaxies extending farther than anything we can easily comprehend. To give you perspective, light takes eight minutes to reach us from the sun, four years from the nearest star, and 100,000 years to cross our galaxy. But this wall stretches across distances that take billions of years for light to travel. It's not just big, it's organized. Galaxies don't just float randomly in space, they gather in this vast wall-like sheet as if some hidden hand had sculpted them into place. But why? Why do galaxies arrange themselves in walls and filaments? And what does it mean that we keep finding structures this enormous? Breaking the cosmological principle. The foundation of modern cosmology is something called the cosmological principle. The idea that on large enough scales, the universe should look roughly the same everywhere. No special directions, no preferred places, just uniformity. But every time we find one of these walls, it challenges that principle. The universe is supposed to smooth out when you zoom out far enough. But these walls are so large, they shouldn't exist. They're too structured, too organized. It's like looking at the foam on a cappuccino. Zoom in and you see bubbles, swirls, and edges. Zoom out far enough and it looks smooth. But imagine zooming out and still seeing giant ridges larger than the foam should allow. That's what these walls are, giant structures that suggest the universe is more lumpy, more uneven than we thought. How do we find these walls? You might be wondering, how do scientists even know these walls are there? After all, we can't step outside the universe and look back at it. The answer lies in redshift surveys. When galaxies move away from us, their light is stretched into longer wavelengths, red shifted. By measuring that red shift, astronomers can figure out how far away galaxies are. Put enough of these measurements together and you get a 3D map of the universe. But there's a catch. We live inside the Milky Way, and its stars, gas, and dust block much of our view. This is especially true near the galactic plane, 
the thick glowing band you see as the Milky Way in the night sky. The South Pole Wall was discovered by peering into one of these hidden regions, using clever statistical techniques to fill in gaps. And what scientists found was shocking, a massive wall of galaxies, one of the largest structures ever seen. The edge of space. Now when we say edge of space, we don't mean the literal edge of the universe. Cosmologists generally agree that the universe has no edge. It's either infinite or it curves back on itself like the surface of a sphere. But from our perspective, the edge refers to the farthest distances we can see. Light takes time to travel, so when we look deep into space, we're also looking back in time. The farthest we can see, about 46 billion light years in any direction, is called the observable universe. Beyond that, the light hasn't had time to reach us yet. So when scientists say there's a wall at the edge of space, they mean they've found a structure near the limit of what we can observe, a wall of galaxies sitting at the edge of our cosmic horizon. And that raises a chilling question. If there's a wall there, what lies beyond it? The mystery of dark energy. The discovery of these walls also ties into another cosmic mystery, dark energy. Around 20 years ago, astronomers discovered that the universe's expansion isn't slowing down, it's speeding up. Something, an invisible energy, is pushing galaxies apart faster and faster. Dark energy makes up about 70% of the universe, yet we have no idea what it is. Some scientists wonder if these giant walls of galaxies could give us clues. Maybe they're not just random structures. Maybe they're shaped by the push and pull of dark energy itself. If that's true, mapping these walls could be like reading the fingerprints of dark energy on the cosmos. Beyond the horizon, so what lies beyond these walls? Here's where science blurs into speculation. Some cosmologists suggest that beyond the observable universe, there may be countless other regions, each with its own galaxies, stars, and possibly even its own physical laws. This is the idea of the multiverse. Others suggest that what we see as walls and voids might actually be the result of cosmic inflation, the rapid expansion that happened in the first fraction of a second after the Big Bang. During inflation, quantum fluctuations could have been stretched to cosmic scales, seeding the patterns we now see as the cosmic web. In this view, the walls aren't anomalies. They're fossils of the universe's birth, written into the fabric of space-time itself. The human perspective. But let's step back for a moment. Imagine standing under the night sky, knowing that billions of light years away, there are walls of galaxies stretching across unimaginable distances. Walls that dwarf every human achievement, every civilization, every dream. And yet here we are, tiny beings on a pale blue dot, building telescopes, gathering data, and piecing together the shape of the cosmos. It's a reminder of both our smallness and our greatness. Small, because we are fragile creatures on a tiny planet. Great, because somehow we can grasp these cosmic truths. What it means. So what does the wall at the edge of space really mean? It means the universe is bigger and stranger than we thought. It means the cosmological principle our neat idea that the universe is smooth on large scales, may need revising. It means that hidden in the night sky are structures so vast, they make even galaxies seem small. And it means that every discovery opens new questions. What carved these walls? Are they echoes of inflation, signatures of dark energy, or hints of something we don't yet understand? The truth is the universe doesn't owe us simplicity. It doesn't exist to fit our expectations. It is what it is, vast, mysterious, and filled with wonders we are only beginning to glimpse. A wall at the edge of space isn't the end of the story. It's the beginning of another chapter. A clue pointing toward deeper truths. And maybe one day, with sharper telescopes and better theories, we'll look beyond that wall and find not an edge, but a doorway into something even greater. Until then, we stand at the frontier, staring into the deep, asking the oldest question humans have ever asked. What lies beyond?